reaction. Hello everyone, I'm Katrina Zuliana with designer and I'm proud to be one of the participants for Tibet in Cambodians. For those who don't know what is Tibet, Tibet is a short for technicals and vocational education and trainings. And we have Ecomages. This Tibet Ecomages is not a movie, it's not a game. Tibet's Ecomages is online migrations of ideas, young talks presented by both educators and students in the Tibet education stream to speak up their thoughts and ideas on how to enhance and to inspire Tibet teachings and learning practices in their interstitions. Due to the advent of computer and internet, the practice of online learning has emerged all around the world. Many people support their way and learning. However, many people prefer conventional schooling methods. So I'm here to discuss on the comparison of traditional learning and e-learning. I will make an opinion in favor of both views. So let's get started. What is traditional learning? Traditional learning is also known as the back to basics or customary education. It refers to long established costume found in school and the more societal traditional use. Traditional education is concerned with the teacher being the controller of the learning environment, power and responsibility are held by educators and they are playing the role of instruction and decision maker. Their regards to them have heavy knowledge holes that need to be filled with information. In the charts, the traditional view thinks that it is educator that causes learning to occur. Comfort level. The advantage of using traditional learning is that both educator and student are comfortable with the classroom structures and sometimes they don't want to deviate from it. If you have a question on your lecture, you can raise up your hands in class and get immediate answer. If you turn in a paper and have a question about a grid or comments, you can use them to talk to the teachers and analyze the body language. In online learning, it is sometimes hard to gauge effective communications and you may have to wait until the teacher read their emails. While uh, many students relax new advance in technology, others are all comfortable with technologies and prefer paper and pencil based method. For this student, the familiarity and comforts of traditional school is an advantage. Traditional school offers students way to interact with the teachers and peers in a way that's online from massive noise. While many online courses integrate some form of physical interactions in hybrid courses, courses that are entirely online that do not have a face-to-face -face component. While you may see your lecture on the video, you can't raise your hands and get immediate feedback or links over to your classmates and ask the questions. Also, the level of interactions with your peers isn't the same in online learning as it is in traditional classroom atmosphere. With face-to-face -face interactions, you develop lifelong contacts memories experience that harder to foster in online environment. This type of interactions fuels the educational experience in the way that online learns a does not. What is e-learning? E-learning is a learning utilizing electronic technologies to access educational curriculums outside of a traditional classroom. In most cases, it's referred to a course, program, 
a degree is the completely online. There are many terms used to describe learning that is relevant online via the internet, ranging from the distant education to computerized electronic learning, online learning, internet learning, and many others. We define e learning as courses that are specifically delivered via the internet to someone other than the classroom where the lecturer is teaching. It is not a course delivered via a DVD or CD, video tapes, or over television program. It is interactive in that you can also communicate with your lecturers or other students in the class. Sometimes it is delivered live where you can electronically raise your hands and interact in real time, and sometimes it is a lecture that has been pre recorded. There is always a teacher or professor interacting, communicating with you and correcting your participant, your assignment and your test, your schedule, your pace, your place. If you can maintain the necessary self-discipline, the benefit of e-learning are almost too numerous to come. You can Cover the materials when you can have time. Go for it as often as you need. All um, without traveling to the classroom. There are no parking problems or expenses. Transportation fees, housing and food services fee. Plus, you can take the class from any location with the internet access. There have been many studies showing that e-learning students retain the material to a significantly greater degree to face to face instructor leads classes. The content delivery is consistent and can be easily reported. Needed to gain a better understanding. In the most courses you must keep up with the scheduled coursework. Courses are instructor led and follow the semester square schedule as traditional courses. One of the impacts of the credit crunch has been fresh look at the potential of e-learning. So we decided to take a look at the sum of the research and examine the benefit of e-learning. First it is e learning is a faster at a time where the change is faster than ever. A key advantage of e learning is that it has faster delivery cycle times than traditional classroom based instructions. There is a practical limitation on how fast learning can be rolled out with classroom-based instructions. As the capacity to deliver learning is limited by the number of available classroom and trainers, is e-learning effective? Hmm. Specific studies from Fletcher's colleague Willis, Yamashita, and Anderson all confirm that learners learn more using computer-based instruction than they do through traditional classroom method. A Brandon Holtz notes that the learning more suited to e-learning conversions includes information and knowledge and processing and procedure. This report notes that learning gains have on ins, learners score on tests, certifications or other evaluations. The number of learners who achieve mastery level and pass exam. Learner ability to apply no knowledge. A new processor on the job. Long term retention of information. E learning can also save three by seven paper. Many e learning courses are entirely self contained, presenting all learning content online or providing alternative to paper-based 
form of communication through such tool as email, PDF manual, synchronous classroom, and other web-based tools. Blended learning or education is a formal education program in which a student learns at least in part through delivery of content and instructions via digital and online media with some element of student control over time, place, part, place, while still attending a brick and mortar school structure. Face-to-face -face classroom methods are combined with computer media activities, a lack of consensus on the definitions of blended learning has led to difficulty in research about its effectiveness in the classroom. Proponents of blended learning cite the opportunity for data collections and customizations of instructions and assessment as two major benefits of this approach. The use of information and communication technologies has been found to improve access to as well as to the attitude towards learning. By incorporating information technology into class projects, communication between lecturers and part-time students has improved and students were able to better evaluate their understanding of course material via the use of competent-based qualitative and quantitative assessment modules. Students with special talents or interests outside of available curriculum use educational technology to advance their skill or access great best directions. Some online institutions connect students with instructors via web conference technology to form a digital classroom. These institutions borrow many of the technologies that have popularized online courses at the university level. Finally, I must thank all of you once again to those ladies and gentlemen who have worked behind the scenes, especially my groupmates, my friends here who has been helping in the presentation and all of the colleagues who support as well as the other organizations. I will have felt gratitude and sincere thanks. Thank you very much.